Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel for another search tutorial. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to make woodwinds with uh, comb filters and, you know, in a, in a framework of so-called physical modeling synthesis with search. Uh, this is the second video I make in response to what someone has asked me in a comment. And the previous video was about car plus string, car plus strong synthesis. I keep feeling like saying string because, you know, it actually emulates a plucked string sound or something like that. Anyway, uh, in this one, I'm going to show how to use the same approach or well, kind of a similar approach to make some woodwind sound. So let's get into it. So here we are, usual uh, friendly interface. I like this skin a lot. I kind of said that already a couple of times, but why not repeating it? Uh, and here we have our sawtooth and what would you expect. Now, well, I'm going to kill it and I'm going to get some noise, only that. And I'm going to even draw its volume to zero. Then I'm going to get an envelope so that I can use it as just, you know, a noise pulse, exactly like I would have done in the previous, exactly the same thing I did in the previous video. Actually, I didn't, yeah, I, di I did do it actually exactly like this. And so now we have this envelope and we're going to use it to control this volume. Doesn't seem like we're going, we're getting where we want, right? But give me time. So now we got this little noise pulse and we're going to get the key tracking on both filters to the max. I'm going to get a different mono routing. By the way, I don't really don't need it to be stereo, do I? And once I have this, what else I'm going to do? I'm going to get this filters to do, to do something. Here I'm going to have a band pass, like a 12 dB. I could use another filter, you know, I could get a slightly different character, but this one is not that critical. Well, quite really, but it takes a while. And now I'll get it resonant. Now, now you see that that little pulse I do seems a little bit more tuned as you know there's there's it's key tracked and therefore it's following now i'm gonna get this other filter and i'm gonna use here a comp filter i'm gonna go for a comp minus which will be one octave below and also only have odd harmonics so in order to make it sound in tune with that one i'll have to have i'll have to set it at like twice the uh the frequency of this one so now here i'm gonna go here and say yeah, this, this parameter 523.25 no okay 1000 uh, 1046.5 and this will be it and it's barely 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 doing anything and now i'm gonna go for the most critical thing here which is this not, not the filter oven, sorry, the feedback. And now there's this snappy attack thing, which isn't very flutish. And so we're going to keep. And here it's a little better. And here we are, and we can do a little. We give it less resonance, it will sound. We can give some resonance to the comb too, which has some effect on the sound. And now another thing we can do, of course, is uh, adding, you know, some color to this. Just, you know, just as usual things, you know, for a sound like this, a little bit of reverb would do miracles. Yeah, I get, it gets boring. I always get some time and say, hey, it's some reverb. And then the usual thing, uh, I mean, I would do for the, I would be doing this usual thing, like saying channel after touch, controlling the amplitude, and the rate of this LFO while this LFO, no, not this, I'm saying this LFO, yes, this one is controlling the pitch slightly.
<laughs> now we could be kind of happy with this already but there's a bunch of more things we could do now for example we could control the cutoff of this with the mod wheel which considering that we have the comb afterwards will well screw up the tuning uh, a little less than we would expect but another thing we could do is using a bit of wave shaping mm -hmm. and maybe have it controlled by the mod wheel uh, this does quite a lot of change as As this, as you can see, gets to the point of getting, you know, what we can have more harmonics, more color to the sound and make it... Uh, and make it more, you know, more, more colorful, more realistic, more expressive somehow, as, you know, we might expect a blown instrument to be... So, like, you know, we would expect to be able to control its volume with something, you know, for blowing harder basically and that uh, I mean you, I would do that with a breath controller if I had one but I don't so I'm using the mod wheel to kind of emulate that but uh, and there's there's a few other things you might want to control like saying for example I could control with the, the, the cutoff with the mod wheel too and that so we have we keep having the fundamental mode we had a secondary pitch going on and that's that can be kind of interesting though not entirely realistic so i will remove it so um there really isn't much more as far as this goes i mean there's several other ways to make i wouldn't say convincing but decent woodwind sounds but this is uh, the the one i would think of to do the, so using surge and using this sort of physical modeling approach with uh, comb filters and this is this is it now i won't get into the whole details of how to make the very same patch or somehow the same thing in vital but here is some sort of an approximation of it and how did i do it well see uh, the point in how to make a patch like this is mostly about uh, getting a bandpass filter inside the feedback loop of your comb filter so uh, since in surge we did not have a chance to have a filter inside the feedback loop i was using the global feedback of the synth to achieve that effect here with vital i have the possibility of choosing uh, an appropriate filter i could go for this band spread flange or a band spread comb and in that case if i wanted it to be negative i would have to go for negative resonance I mean, just go below because it's zero in the center while the flange is only in one direction. And here I can control the how open this band pass filter is and the same thing. You know, it's basically the very same thing I did earlier, except uh, m minus the feedback. And with this little bit of modulations, which make it a little different. And I did add some effects, some things, just, you know, just a bit of reverb and delay, as you would expect. So the, the path to doing a sound like this is this somehow, you know, get a bandpass and a comb and well, maybe both uh, one way or another and um, tune it, tweak it until it sounds the way you want. Uh, let me mention that uh, Surge also has in the, um, in the factory presets in the woodwind category a bunch of examples of sound made exactly this way and uh, well you can just open them, study them, understand them and make your own amazing flutes out of nothing and this is it so well this said i don't think i can say uh, tell you a lot more about it i mean i actually i could tell you one thing if you want to know more about making physical bass sound or you know do, do, going the nerdy way into sound design i totally recommend checking out gordon Wraith's synth secret series it's a bunch of articles on sound on sound uh, it was they were written in the early 2000s and they're amazing uh, they're a little bit seriously on the nerdy side they're really not the easiest thing to understand but uh, they definitely go cover the topic in depth uh, and the more you understand out of it the better synthesis you probably can be and i 
could not recommend them enough. I really, I mean, I've mentioned them already in other videos. I keep doing it. And there's about making flutes and making things there. There's, there's, I wouldn't say all you need to know, but there's a lot of what you would need to know. This said, it's a very quick video again, and I'll take my time to make my usual mandatory self-promotion and tell you, please check out the links in the description. Please subscribe to the channel down here. There's a button and, you know, new subscribers are very, very appreciated. Uh, check out my music and listen to it if you like it. Maybe, you know, t tell all your friends about it. And uh, beyond that, there's going to be a link to my Gumroad where you can find a bunch of patches for Vital and soon. Again, I keep promising it, but that there will be my patches for Surge. And also a link to Deep Tons Production. It's a... Uh, it's it's a school and you know we provide a bunch of other audio related services if you wanna if you're interested in anything from mentoring to a lot of other possibilities just check it out check the link in the description there's gonna be everything you need to know about it this said i thank you for your attention and uh, Bye. See you at the next video. Whatever the topic will will it will be. I mean, if you you can, I'm totally fine going around this way. If you have something you want to ask, some specific synth questions you want answered, some specific sounds you want made in one way or another, well, just ask. Just don't please ask me to do. Oh, you know, I want to make that sound from that EDM track. I mean, I can do that, but uh, I really think there's countless videos on how to do that very specific sound in that very specific track on doing all that i'm much more into trying to you know get a more structured and functional approach to synthesis and i think it's actually better for you too this said i'm sorry i'm a pedantic 40 year old synth uh, synth synth geek and i have to say this kind of things and i can suppose you can understand it See you soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.